Hey guys, it's Chris Heinrich here, and today I'm going to give you some advice and some tips for getting a 5 on the AP Physics exam. Now, I'm a current physics PhD student, so I have lots of experience taking exams, standardized tests, AP tests, all sorts of exams, and some of the advice I'm going to give you is just general test taking advice that I've picked up throughout the years of taking tests, and some is going to be specific to the AP Physics exam. I'm going to break it into four parts, the process of getting a 5. So there's the preparation, there's things you should do during the, exam, or the day of the exam, there's the multiple choice questions, and there's the free response. Now, the most important thing, in addition to going to class and learning the material, is to get consistent practice. It needs to be consistent daily practice in order for your brain to fully absorb and integrate the material. And I recommend about 45 minutes a day during the weeks leading up to the exam. And this is why I've created the mobile app Physics X, which has tons of multiple choice questions and solutions, and videos as well as other resources. It's available on Android and Apple, so for more information you can click here. In addition to consistent practice, or ways to get the best consistent practice, are to do lots of AP style exams. Now, if you go to AP Central, the College Board website, they actually have their free response questions from 1999 to 2014. You can go there to check that out. For multiple choice questions, you can check out the app Physics X or other sources on the web. And in addition to doing 45 minutes a day practice, you want to also want to do some full-length practice exams. And so, the idea here is imagine you're an athlete and you're training for a marathon. Now you're going to do lots of short workouts you know, so you don't injure yourself, but you also need to build that endurance and you're going to have to do some really full length runs in preparation for the marathon. And that's the idea here of doing the full length exams. You know, it's a three hour exam, so in addition to learning the material, you also have to build up that endurance to go throughout the whole exam process. Now, when taking a test, any test, you know, there's the process of getting all the information into our heads, and that's the learning, the preparation. But when you take an exam, it's crucial to be able to get the information out of your head. And if you're like me, I'm a bit of an anxious test taker, this can be somewhat of a challenge. But there are things that we can do to maximize our chance of getting all the information out and performing effectively. And just like an athlete, if you're going to run it, a uh, sprint, you don't eat a greasy cheeseburger right beforehand. So things you want to do, things that people, everyone tells you, it's absolutely true. You want to get some good rest the night before. And you want to eat a good breakfast or lunch, depending on what time you're taking the exam. So you want to make sure you're not tired and you're well nourished. But you also, one of the most important things is to stay calm. Nothing can mess up your chances of using everything you learn to get a good score on the test, like getting stressed out. And this is easier said than done, but in my experience, you know, some of the best techniques for staying calm is to take some deep breaths. You can do deep breaths for you know, a couple minutes before the exam starts while they're passing them out. In addition to deep breaths, you can uh, do some stretching if they let you get up. And I know it's going to sound silly, but it's absolutely true in order to be at your top mental focus. You can help imagine yourself in your happy place, wherever that may be. It could be at home, on the couch, or at a beach. But you can close your eyes and imagine you're there, that there's no threat, there's no exam to put you so that you're maximally confident and clear leading up to the exam. So, the AP Physics exam, the one, the two, and the C, they, also have, they all have multiple choice questions and free response questions. Um, there's 90 minutes for each, and in the 1 and 2 exam, there's about 50 multiple choice questions. And you have 90 minutes, so you have to work fast here. And this is where the consistent practice in the full length exams will really help you out because you can see a question and immediately recognize it as one that's similar to one that you've already solved before and then you can solve it very quickly. But 
No matter how much preparation, there may always be some questions you're not totally sure about. But fortunately, on the AP Physics exam, unlike certain other exams, there's no penalty for guessing. So, you absolutely want to answer every question. Because there, there's five choices, and there's some chance that you'll randomly guess the right answer. Or you may know just a little bit, and that will improve it even more. So, you should answer every single question. You may want to first go through and do the ones you know best, but before the time runs out, just go in and randomly circle in circles uh, for the answers that you have no idea about. And that will maximize the chance that you get a good score. In addition to these things, so there is no calculator on the multiple choice. So you have to be able to do, it's good to keep in mind, you have to be able to do some scratch math uh, over on the side. But there is some information that they hand out. There's some useful tables, like the values of trigonometric functions at certain angles. And so you want to make sure that you know that information is there and be able to use it. So use the tables and the information that they hand out. <clears throat> okay, and so for free response, you also have 90 minutes for these. But in this case, for the AP Physics 1, there are five free response. For the AP Physics 2, there are four free response. So you have much more time per question than you did in the multiple choice. So with that in mind, it's worth taking a minute to read through all the questions first. And then after you've read through them all, you probably have an idea of which ones you know the best, which ones you think are easiest. So you want to do the easiest ones first. Once again, this will only take a minute and it'll make your test taking as efficient as possible if you do the easiest ones first. And also, like in the multiple choice questions, you want to answer every part of every question because there's no penalty for guessing. So answer every part of every question. And now what goes along with that is that for free response, unlike multiple choice, you can get partial credit for your answers. But in order to get partial credit, you need to show your work. So make sure to show all work. But not only do you need to show it, the grader needs to be able to read it and understand it in order to give you partial credit. So you need to write legibly and be organized. And then the last piece of advice is true when you're answering any physics questions. You need to make sure you include dimensions for your answers. There's nothing like, there's nothing as annoying as going through a long question, getting the right answer, but then losing points because you forgot to write your dimensions. It's simple, but you have to remember to do it. So these are my tips for getting a 5 on the AP Physics exam. Once again, check out PhysicsX. It's available on the Apple App Store as well as Android App Store. And it'll help you meet this 45 minute a day practice and help you get a 5 on the AP Physics exam. Now thank you and good luck studying.